Hi everybody. Um, I've been continued continued getting this um, request for doing these tutorials, and you guys out there are on a tight learning curve by the sounds of it. And at this time, you requested that um, I have a go at uh, Kentucky by the Shadows. Now, I, when I get requests for these tunes to do the tutorials or the lessons or whatever you want to call them. Um, I, I just like to call it showing people how to, how to play the tune which is not really a, a lesson as such but anyway I'm, I'm doing my best with it and I don't always play these tunes um, anyway sometimes I have to learn them just to sort of be able to show you guys how to do it but um, anyway I've got this one Kentucky by the Shadows and it's a really really nice one once again very short tune uh, just over one and well, nearly nearly two minutes not quite two minutes which is still short for an instrumental but it's got a lot of good things going on it on in it and um, it's a it's a fun tune to play you should be able to get the same backing track um, it's a UB Hank uh, backing track you can get it from Goran Tankren or anybody who's, who's got the, the UB Hank series of backing track CDs I'm sure someone will, someone will be able to uh, get it for you if you haven't got it. But Kentucky, um, it's a it's a it's a good tune to play, and um, and let's get on and see if we can't show you how to do it. Okay, uh, before we start, um, I've always stressed in my previous um, things that I've tried to show that if you don't know the tune and you're just starting out learning it the best thing to do um, and this is really really essential is that um, I usually listen to the the the, the, the proper tune the, the recorded tune about 10 to 15 times uh, just to get it imprinted in me on me mind um, so I, I roughly know what's what's going to be coming um, as the tune unfolds and uh, I can't stress it, it enough to you really that you need to slow the tune down uh, slow it down I mean sometimes even if you slow it down to half speed or well, slow it down anyway so that you can hear all the notes that are being played and uh, this is really vital in getting the tune to sound something like the original which is I suppose what we're trying to do um, and I always tab it out um, get yourself some tab sheets and listen to the tune and tab and write the notes down as you hear them in tab form and you'll find this amazingly um, beneficial when you come to record the, the tune or when you become you want to learn the tune because otherwise you'll just be floundering around and and it's really difficult that way especially if you're only just learning and, and these tutorials that I do, I mean, I aim at the person who's got a guitar who, who probably hasn't mastered it quite yet. We, we've nobody's, nobody's mastered the guitar, it's endless. But you know what I mean, if you're starting out, it's sometimes very difficult. So you, what you need to do is to slow it down. You, you must have the software, I mean, you people are, are very clever out there in YouTube land you'll you'll have the software to slow the tune down slow the backing track down play along with it and gradually increase speed as you get more confident with the with knowing where the notes are so okay without further ado let's crack on and see if we can't um, make a start with the tune <clears throat> okay first part you're going to play the E string that's the thickest the sixth one this one here, open twice and them two notes, them two notes follow those, follow that E open with those two notes there which is going to be the uh, ninth fret and it's going to be the second and third strings barred the second and third that's all i'm playing just them two and then i'm sort of running it down to to the the, the um, head sorry 
that again. That's the first part. Right, start. This is the, the first note is the E, which is on the fourth string, and it's the second fret down, second fret look. And you play the play the next one to it, which is the A on the third string, second fret. So you can bar them to the, there if you like. That's all that is. Up to that D note. Then you're down onto the uh, A flat note there. that again just in case it wasn't too clear starting on the E note on the fourth string second fret Ending up on that A note of the third string second fret. So I'll up to, to, to tempo that would be something like this. That's a that's a around about the speed of it. But you, you play it slowly to start with and you get all those notes under your fingers and you'll be off and running. That will give you a bit of confidence to go on to the next bit, which is basically the same. But what, he's, what he does next time, he sort of doubles the notes up. So it's sort of like this. Oh, sorry. So do that section again up to tempo. Now that should give you all, and that's all, all happening on those first four frets. First four frets of the of the neck. Okay, so that's that part sorted out. So when you've been, if you've been listening to the tune, as I as I explained, that would be a good idea to do. You'll you'll have know you'll know when the the breaks in the tune are coming. Now there's going to be um, a four chord break now, um, followed by a bass a little bass run, followed by another chord four chord sequence, followed by another bass run. Well, the four chords are the same in both cases. Um, you're going to play a D, which is there, which we're starting on the tenth, the tenth fret, and we're and we're um, those of you who know your chords. That one stretches right the way back, all the way up. You don't have to change your finger until you get to the D, which is there. That should be your first chord, D. And your second chord is going to be there, which is this uh, starts on the first finger on the seventh fret, which is going to be your e, e chord. 
and then you're going to play an A which is there and that starts on the ninth fret of the first string and then an A down there at the fifth fret so those chords again D D Dun 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 and that's how where that fits in between that little bass run. Okay, so we we'll just just check that again. That's that bit finished there. That's um that'll be quite a little testing bit to do, those of you who are trying out your chords, to get those four chords going well there. And we move on to the next bit, which is quite a tricky passage, the next bit. So as this, this next part is full of pitfalls, I'm gonna split it up into bars. Now each bar has got um, five note positions in it and uh, so we'll do it very slowly and what you're going to do the first part the first three three notes you're going to start with the first finger on the fifth fret of the second string which is an e and you're going to strike the e and the open e together like this So you're playing two notes, you're playing two E's together, sort of octave E's there. And you're going to continue that for the next couple. You're going to go from there to the 10th fret and then to the 12th fret, just moving that finger. But what you best do to try and get it to, sorry, to slide it. So that's the 5th fret, 10th fret and 12th fret. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can see that on, on that little webcam that I'm using. That's all you're playing. You're not touching. You're not doing anything with the other fingers. So did you get that? I'd, I'd, I'd just do it again. The first three. Up to the twelfth there. And then you're going to. Do 12 and 14, that's 12 on the first string, 14 on the second. And then go down to the 9th and 10th frets on the first and second st uh, string. And that is that first part all, all, all done. That will take um, that will take a little while to get that sorted if you haven't done it before, and that is why it's quite important to add the tab because if you've got the tab, you can learn it as you read the tab. Now this this bit is a little bit more still stretching yourself a bit more. You're going to be starting down here, um, and the first two notes are the F sharp and the D, which is the uh, second fret first string third fret second string so this is that's that's your first position now you're going to slide that up to the fifth fret which is the fifth fret and the seventh fret first and second strings again all this is all this is played on the first two strings the the um, the uh, the E and the B that's that five notes well I've, I've got the the first two on camera I'll, I'll bring the other I'll bring it round to do the last three in a minute there Still on the first and second string. That's 14th and 15th frets. Uh, 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 yeah, 14th and 15th frets. 
down to the 12 and 14 and back to the 9 and 10 again which you did before so it's kind of like this okay that's that part right so the last part where we got up to we were doing um, this business from down on the uh, the D that's where we got up to last time now we where we're going from there now we're gonna go this next part is um, quite a bit longer before it um, it breaks so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start. I'm going to break it up again. <clears throat> the next part is this. We'll just do that bit for the now. Up to there. So you you come down from the from the uh, the D position. bit there so that's the next part <clears throat> now for, for a short tune um, just under two minutes Hank and the boys have, have really sort of crammed a load of stuff into this into this tune and, and these double stops um, they're quite tricky to do um, and it's a it's a discipline that um, if you don't know how to do double stops is, is this is a good exercise of, of how it's done and um, at speed, it's quite a difficult thing to 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 do. But uh, I mean, even even slowing down is harder because you're having to think of every time it's not spontaneous enough. But anyway, we we struggle on. We got to this part. Do that again. And then that's that's a bit I showed you last time. Now this section it goes down back down to the 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 D. Quite a lot on that section. So we'll try and do that again. <coughs> Coming starting from the last bit. that run up at the end there okay and I'll try and I'll try and explain that in a bit more detail and bearing in mind when you when you're uh, tackling this double stop thing you you've you've um, only got to involve the 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 two um, bottom strings which is the 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 E and the B and you're only ever going to be either uh, two frets apart like say for example like that two frets apart or three frets apart don't use that finger so three frets so you're only going to do you're only doing this you're only using those those um, uh, two strings two frets apart or three frets apart so if you keep that in mind and don't worry about the other the other strings it'll cut down the um, the problem slightly by just thinking of those two strings um, so what I'll do, I'll I'll try and play it slowly again. Um, so we we were there. And then it ends on a on a on a on a chord there. And then it it goes into the next section because and that is the finish of the double stops uh in the tune so i'll, I'll just I'll, because it's so important and so sort of tricky to do i'll i'll do that again um won't worry about the first bit because this bit at the end here is the bit that you have to concentrate on getting because it's more than one bar long it's quite an ex in quite an extended uh, extended bar
and that run up is um, the fourth and fifth fret there and that is that is your two that is your two um, your first your two two frets apart or one fret after the other there and then straight away you go to the 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 first and third so it's just a, just a, a simple run up but you do it you've got to do it quickly because you don't they don't they don't hang about when they're playing this tune the shadows and then you do that e chord on the end there which leads you into your 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 chord section which you've already learned Now in between that, while that's pl while while that after that bass solo, this time round, um, when you've done this. He goes back up to here and he plays um, the A, open A, which is the fifth string, and the E note, which is the uh, second fret, fourth string. So he does this. So it's... And then you're back into the tune again. Etc. So we're almost we're almost through the through the tune now and we've just got the ending to, to do and we're done. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, I made a uh, I owe you an apology because I made a mistake. I said it was an E chord at the end there where you where you um you come off of that to run up it's an a chord not an e chord sorry not an not an and then you uh <laughs> um that would have that would have thrown you out if you'd have been putting an e in there so no so it's an a Now, when I when you go on to that last bit, and that is the end. Well, you you've learnt all that. Now the the ending, it's a, a bit of a big ending here. You you you're gonna you're gonna be playing the um the open E again. And then you'll be you'll be t you'll be doing the um, octave E on the fifth string at the seventh fret like this. That's the the um, leading up to the end. So when you get to that bit. finish with a, with an E 7th chord which is which is there um, the E 7th chord um, it's at the fifth fret and it follows up from from the if you've learnt the C7 and the D7 the E7 follows at the fifth so um, if you can if you can finger a, a C 7th chord it's that one so you're using all your fingers on your on your uh, left hand there and then what you try and try what you try and do try and vary the the picking on that on that e seventh chord to make it sound a bit more interesting sort of similar to this ending on that a at the fifth at the fifth um, fret so that, that ending once more And let your echo um, finish on that on that E on that so on that A, 
put E on the brain. On that, finish on that A and let the echo run run past it. And that is Quantiki. So yeah, so just to recap then, um, I've I've played all the parts and uh, you've got all the all the tools there to to make a a decent fist of this tune, uh, Quantiki. Um, but we're just um, just to go back on, on what I've said at the beginning. Uh, if you if you if you're not sure about it, write yourself out some some tab. Well, better than that, if you go to Goran um, Tankring's site, he's got the tab on there, and he's also got um, his his backing track for this tune, which you can download. Um, I'm sure he's 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 quite happy for you to do that. Um, I've used the UB Hank one myself, um, but uh, as I say, download his, his tab and, and follow his tab through. Do it slowly, build it up, and uh, what you need to do is, um, I'm just going to, ju I'll finish off this video by playing you my version of it, um, which I recorded um, a, a little while ago. Um, and what you your your uh, your mission is to play it a lot better than than I've played it, um, but it will take you if you've not done this kind of thing before. It will take you a little time. Use use your echo and your whammy bar and all the little effects that that Hank puts into his tunes. Try and get those as well because that always enhances the the finished tune. But at the end of the day, um, I think you need just to try and put your own stamp on it if you can well just listen to my version and um, I'll see you uh, later on bye for now That's it.